Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. By now then, we all know this has great sounds, fantastic styles, and is packed full of super features, just like all of the Arranger keyboards, especially the flagship ones, just like this. But there is, I think, a problem. And I'm not talking about the cheesy sounds or styles. I've already told you in previous videos, you've got to embrace the cheese. The issue I have with these, and I'm not just singling out Korg here, the same applies to Yamaha. The issue is, is that so many of the onboard styles, the accompaniment patterns in a variety of different musical genres, so many of these styles are very, very extremely song specific. Yes, we have styles modeled after rock classics, and we have styles modeled after synth pop classics, Pet Shop Boys, Wham, a lot of 80s stuff on uh, both of these arranger keyboards. We have extremely specific styles for modern pop songs, dance songs, and that's fine, but what if you don't really want to play that song? Here's a few good examples then of what I'm talking about on the Yamaha Genos 2. See how many of these songs you recognize. I've got to say, that is super impressive. It's incredible what the team at Yamaha and Korg have done in designing these very song-specific styles because they have absolutely nailed it. It sounds so authentic. The detail in the programming is astonishing. Yes, it is very impressive and it sounds great if you're trying one of these in the showroom, that's for sure. But what if I don't want to play those songs? There's only 600 styles on this. Well, that's a lot. There's about 800 on the Geonos, which is also a lot, but most of those are copies of 
certain songs and what if I don't want to play those songs? In fact, the thing that makes me really uncomfortable and uneasy about this is that somebody, some faceless person in a boardroom at Yamaha or Korg, a product manager or developers, who knows who it is, somebody is deciding for me what repertoire I should play. And that really doesn't sit well with me when somebody else is choosing which songs I should play. Think of it, <laughs> if you went and bought a guitar, for example, nobody is going to stipulate, Fender is not going to say you have to play Stairway to Heaven and Sweet Home Alabama. Although I guess it is mandatory to play Smoke on the Water and Hotel California, perhaps. Yeah, an instrument should be totally open-ended. I'm able to play whatever songs I want or even create my own songs without being kind of forced or persuaded into playing a certain set of songs. Do you see the issue here? If I was to take that Karma Chameleon style fire up the intro and it's got exactly the same accompaniment and chord progression even as the original hit by Culture Club, then what am I gonna do with that style if I don't wanna play that song? I mean, if you're a singer, I guess it somewhat helps. It's gonna sound cheesy if you play the melody with a sax sound or something, but even so, if I'm a entertainer, I don't want somebody at Yamaha deciding that I should play Karma Chameleon. That's what really doesn't sit well with me. By the way, this video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. I don't accept sponsorships and just make videos for the fun of it, but it is a lot of work. And if you appreciate what I'm doing here on the channel, please do subscribe. That's all I ask. It costs you nothing. It's just a click, but it means a lot to me. Thank you very much in advance. It is true, you can tweak the styles to some degree. You can mute parts or even combine parts from different styles to make hybrid styles that are more unique and perhaps what you're looking for. But it's quite a lot of work and still some of the styles are so characteristic, you're never gonna hide the fact where the drums or the accompaniment is coming from. So then, enough ranting. What is the solution in Woody's opinion? I kind of think that the styles should be a template, a starting point, and a lot more effort should be made into the style creation. Both this and the Genos, this is the PA5X, have style creators on board where you can make your own styles for whatever song you might want to perform or perhaps your own original song, which is where it really starts to get interesting. But let me tell you, the style creators on both of these are very painful to use. It's no fun and not inspiring at all. It's technically possible, but nobody's going to put themselves through that to create their own styles. It's really hard work. So I think the next generation of Arranger keyboards should have much more emphasis on style creation. That should be the primary feature, the first thing, the most important thing to design on an Arranger keyboard. Not 800 styles that emulate popular songs. No, you can get rid of all of those in my opinion. Although they sound nice in the showroom, they're not really very useful. Focus instead all of that time and energy that your the brands, are investing in making styles into making a kick-ass style creator. So I can create whatever sounds I want, whatever songs I want, or create my own songs in a fun and inspiring way. Once again, I know it's possible to create styles on both of these instruments and many arranger keyboards, but it's such a tortuous process. The UI is not really very well designed, and it's intended for more advanced users. What I'm saying is that the style creation page should be easy to use and available to everybody. Some of you may know that there are also tools on the PC, so you can take a MIDI file and convert it to a style and then load it onto the keyboard. I've dabbled a little bit with that and watched some videos, but again, that looks like a pretty awkward time-consuming process only perhaps for the advanced users that have those kind of skills because there's a lot of adjustments to be made to get that MIDI file to translate to an accompaniment style. And it occurs to me, if you already have a MIDI file of a song, then why bother converting it to a style when you can just play the MIDI file on the keyboard and play along with that? That seems to be easier. 
or in fact just download a karaoke version, an mp3 of the track that you want to perform along with, play along with that on the keyboard, save yourself a lot of work. After all, you're probably going to be playing the same chords as the original song. But I think the strength of these perhaps that's not really been tapped into is that these are so nice for songwriters. People creating their own music. You can create a musical style, that's the dream. Create your own style depending on the genre that you want to perform or create a song in. And then you can just improvise on the fly with different chords and see how that works together with the style that you just created. That, I think, is where the creativity would really come in. So that, in my opinion, is the future of arranger keyboards. Allow us to create our own styles for the songs that we want to play or create styles for our own music. Either on board, that's the ideal situation, I think, or using perhaps some kind of plugin or app on our PC that integrates very tightly with the keyboard. Yeah, that would be so nice. And let's bring these styles bang up to date. Allow us to import samples from our computer as well. I want to have all my native instruments expansions available within the styles as well to create some really fresh and modern sounds. And all the features we're used to hearing in modern music and that we have available to us in the DAW should be available in the style creator as well, like automation and access to the synthesizer parameters and so on. That would be awesome. I'd love to hear what you think, those of you that have been enjoying my coverage of these fantastic Arranger keyboards, or perhaps you own one yourself. Do you see where I'm coming from and do you agree with me? I look forward to reading that. Thanks again then for subscribing. I'll see you again next time. Cheerio.